Hello, friends. Welcome to my place. My name is Dave. Good to have you here. This will be my third attempt to do a first impression unboxing. I just received a little haul, a little box from Fragrance by Dacier. I bought them and I was uh, did a couple of video, but it turned out not good. So this is a third attempt. Okay. Basically, I was looking to buy this one. This was the main one that I want to get Heromain Detour Noir because on the website it tells you it's a clone of Layton from Parfum de Mali, which is very similar to Gallaria Parfum's Shades of Seduction and also Lalique White and Black. And I thought in the, all four of these bottles are in different price range and it'd be interesting to see the differences, okay? I think some of you might be interested, right? The Haramain is going to be a $30 range, while um, Lily Wine Black's $40 to $50. Shades of the Seduction about $100 plus. Uh, Layton is about $200 plus. So I'm interested to see you know, the differences, but yeah, I did a spray a couple times already. I'm not going to do it again. It's, uh, it's, anyway, first impression of this one is going to be super short. Because after I'll live with this one for a few days, I'll do a comparison of all four. Okay, so before I get there, I'm just going to run it through very quickly, especially this is the third time I'm talking about this thing again. All right, Detour Noir. I've got sprayed it right away. It's uh, very similar to um, Layton for sure. You know they're in the same family. It's not even distant cousin. They're not twins, but they're in the same family, probably like brothers live in the same house, but different rooms, okay? They have the same building blocks. Uh, you can smell the, the sweetness, you know, the vanilla sweetness. I'm smelling the, the spicy cinnamon, okay? That's there for sure. And then, but then I think there's a little bit difference I was able to pick up already. Um, Layton has the apple, the green apple notes, which is missing here. And also I think it's lacking some freshness from the lavender. So it's not as fresh. It, it is as deep, dark, spicy as Layton, but it's not as fresh, okay? So I, I'm think, I think that is attributing from the um, lavender, lack of it, okay? But I do smell, there's a sweetness, I'm, I'm guessing either from, other than vanilla, there's something else. And I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's nutmeg. Yeah, maybe it's nutmeg or you know some sort of n sweet nut. But um, just to give you, you guys are interested as far as first impression, how close is this to Layton? The first couple of minutes is going to be, I would say about 80% right away or 85%. Without doing side by side, I would say, oh yeah, this is for sure a Layton clone, but not exactly. Okay. First couple of minutes is very deep and dark like that. I would say 80, 85% similar, but after a couple of minutes, it, it toned down. I'm smelling my hands. I talk you through this it toned down fairly quickly a lot quicker than the league white and black and um shade of seduction is very good potency for a while so this is on a different level okay but after a couple of minutes it, it, it toned down from 85 percent down to 70 percent 75 70 percent because latent is potent um on my skin it lasts at least half an hour that it goes pretty strong and then you go into the, the dry down, okay. But this one, after two, three minutes, yeah, it's already toned down. So I guess you know because of price, um, you know the ingredients, you you don't get that that powerful, uh, yeah, you don't get that strength, okay. Now, so that's the comparison. But for those of you that do not own Layton or the other one, what this will smell like is, well, like I said, it's. You know, you're going to get vanilla, you're going to get, you know, the cinnamon and some sweetness from probably amber and some, maybe, I'll, I'll just say nutmeg, some sort of wood seeds as a bit of wood and a bit of floral that I'm not able to pick up exactly what type of you know flower it is. Yeah, we're going to get a mixture of all those, but main thing is going to be sweetness and vanilla with some cinnamon, okay? And it, it's been it darkened by those um, darker amber, okay? Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those that is sweet, but it's not overly sweet. It does not become annoying or cloying. 
But even even with that said, I would not suggest this one to be in a hot weather. Okay, on the cold weather, it's gonna work wonderfully. It's very comforting though. It's kind of like if you're super cold outside and you walk into the home where there's a fireplace, you just sit there and the warmth will bring you will, will bring you a sense of um, comfort. That's that's what it will give you in the colder weather. But in the hotter weather, it's gonna be one of those that you want to wash it off and <laughs> become annoying. I, I I do it sometimes because I'm always trying different fragrance in the in the um awkward uh weather so i'll do like hot weather fragrance in the cold weather just to see how it is and vice versa and most times basically i have not find any fragrance that it's it's for um i'm sorry what, what how should i say this i haven't found any cold weather fragrance that works well in the in the hot summer heat maybe only one or two but not really Okay, so that's one thing that you might want to annoy. There's a term called cloying. That means it's so sweet that it's annoying. And this one, for sure, it doesn't go that sweet. It does not reach that line at all. So don't worry about that part. But if you want the sun, yeah, I think, yeah, you will not like this. At least I don't. <clears throat> so as far as age, this is uh, very versatile, non-offensive. You could wear it for um, any occasions, I think, especially for dates. I would think, I would think the um, your your partner, your the other person would enjoy this on you. This is very non-offensive. Yeah, I, I could see this on the dates, and for uh, age, I think teenagers for sure is no problem, and then for 20, 30, 40, 50, Do you know what? Any age, any age because it's not too sweet to the point of being juvenile and it doesn't feel too sweet that older gentlemen cannot you know get away with it you'll be able to dress this up when you're wearing suits no problem yeah in, even in a meeting because right now it's not projecting so strong so you know wear it to a meeting is not going to be offensive yeah hmm so this because how it's toned down it might be even more versatile than um, latent latent is more suitable for for date okay i think that's the time you want to attract the other person with the with the sweetness of this with the depth okay there's something about latent that's just really really nice this one lacks just a bit in that that the uh, complexity in that depth okay yeah right now it's about 65 percent as far as uh, the strength Okay, it's toned down considerably after five or six minutes. So for sure, the potency is not there well, comparing to Layton. As far as uniqueness, no. <laughs> um, it's in the same same family, like I said, of the other ones. Hmm. Now, I'm just seeing if I pick up anything else, but maybe it's just a bit of cypress. I like the note of cypress, even though it's, it could be very too strong, too potent sometimes. But this one is not that strong. It's just, just in the background. I'm not sure. Okay, I just, I'm just smelling. I thought I picked up cypress. But a few fragrances that's very cypress dominant. And uh, for those of you that enjoy green, greeneries, uh, uh, like foresty type of things, you, you might enjoy those cypress notes. But those of you that are not into green, that's one of those that's hard to take. And I do smell that just a tad in here. It's in there, but not strong. So don't worry about it. Anyway, coming back to this. Um, for beginners, what else should I share with you? If, in case you don't know about Leighton. So the, the situation is going to be very versatile. Um, I think any age could wear this. It's going to be very non-offensive. Yeah. The potency, oh, I'm sorry. The longevity, I think will be good. This is usually the darker sense is going to last longer. But because how it toned down already, I don't know how it's going to work for... I don't think it's going to work for the whole day. Maybe half a day for sure. No problem. Four to five hours. Half a day of work. Usually a working day is eight hours, right? So half a day is like four to five hours. Yeah, this should last four to five hours. It's not weak. It's not weak per se. Only it's weak when you compare it to latent. Okay, to the potency of latent. But it's going to cost, yeah. What, six to seven times more expensive? Hmm. Is it worth it? I have to think about that. I have to think about if it's 
you know, you could get what six or seven bottles versus one of Leighton. I don't know. I have to think about that one. That's always a very tough question. Is it worth it? Okay. Not only because everybody's getting different with uh, how they spend money, what they're willing to spend, but also how much you love the fragrance. Okay. So because Leighton is my top three of all time, arbitrary. Okay. And it changes. But at this moment in time, it's top three. So it's hard to tell me, you know, to say it's too expensive because I think it's worth it. But maybe a year later, I might think otherwise. Who knows? But anyway, yeah, as far as uh, for new people, yes, uh, that's what it is. As far as for people that is familiar with Leighton or Lily White and, White and Black and all those, the similarity, it's, it's there. Like I said, same family. If you're for sure on a budget, no brainer. $30, go grab it. Go grab it. If um, you want to get in the same ballpark, okay, it's more similar than a ballpark. Like a ballpark is super big. Okay, it's like a big, huge pond. So it's more similar than that. In the same family, like two brothers live in a different room of the same roof. And they're eating the same food, so they have the same building blocks. So in that sense, yes, very similar in that. Okay, so for sure, no brainer. $30, go pick it up. If you think you might be interested in Layton, just go pick it up Okay, for a cheaper price. And you could actually have both. It will not be redundant in that I always try to save my Layton, so I, I rarely get to use it. That's the terrible part. I rarely get to use it, how, how much I love it. So if I have this on hand, I have lovely white and black, that's what I do. I use them as alternative on the days that I want to smell like it without wasting it. And I'll just go and use those, okay? So with that said, I hope that is helpful. I'll, I'll try to, I do want to, let, I'm sorry, one last thing. I do want to spend some time with uh, the Detour Noir. Reason being, as as soon as I do a side by side comparison, I'm gonna downgrade the uh, cheaper uh, fragrance every single time it happens, and that that's gonna ruin my my enjoyment of the cheaper uh, fragrance. I don't want that. I'm spending money on it. I want to enjoy it. So I'm not gonna compare side by side until a few days later, until I really get to enjoy this one, until I say, okay, okay, now it's time. Then I'll do the comparison. And then, you know, I'll, you'll be beaten down and then I have to, uh, you'll be a while before I forget the comparison and then I'll start to enjoy the cheaper one again. So that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? So I, I want to be able to live with this for a few days. So I'm in a hurry to, to send this out, publish it so you can see a video in case you want to pick it up while it's still there on fragrance.ca. I'm, I'm sorry, fragranceby.ca. I'm not being sponsored by it because I bought it from the, I'm trying to tell you where to go get it, okay? $30. I think it's like 29 for a tester and 31 for a full bottle like this one. It's worth it for me, for sure. All right then, I hope that is helpful. Remember all those good things, thumbs up and, and uh, subscribe. Thank you and see you next time.